a new version of the plugin uh, duplicator for WordPress has been released. We are now at uh, 0 0.5.0 mark. And what's new with this version is that the totally new reworked backend. It looks very different from what we're used to from earlier. And what's new with this version as well is that you can uh, back up your multi-site uh, in an easy way. So basically if you install this on your multi-site you can go to any sub-site and it will back up your full multi-site. So it has basic multi-site backup uh, capability or features. So one uses a duplicator to backup or clone the site to move it from one location to another. So I'm going to start by just logging in. I've already done that to my easy web design tutorials. Add new and duplicator. So I'm going to install the plugin duplicator here. Activate plugin. And it will show here in your sidebar area. I'll go straight to packages. And what I'll see right here is that it gives a warning that older packages will not show up here on the screen, but they are still available in your VP snapshots folder. And to find out more information about that, you can go to the, the support page. So what I want to do, I want to create a new package and here you can see the setup for that and as you see it looks different from earlier I can click the down arrows to see what's going on everything passed here that's good and archive it says format zip and at a later time or a later version you'll be able to download in different other file formats An installer area here, and this is basic for pre-filling information for when you want to install it in another location. As it says on the bottom, the installer can have these fields pre-filled at in or install time. And you can fill it now or do so at a later time when you install it. So I'm going to do this later then. And one can skip the scan and go straight to step two. I like to scan it just to see everything is okay. The colors you see here, red and black, is a profile color I selected under my profile section. So that was a quick scan. It shows what's okay and what's not. It basically gives a warning on when it, it's a huge site. This is 250 megabyte site. It has some large files, so it just kind of warns me about that. This I already know. Cache data. It has something to do with. Uh, Okay, empty cache directory. Uh, I'll just leave it as it is. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll click the build. If for whatever reason you're clicking build and it's not working, that means there's some more, there's some errors in here you need to fix before clicking build. But these are just minor things, so clicking build should work fine. So it's building the site or the package. So that means it's backing up the theme, plugins, media, posts and pages and whatever else that is part of this WordPress site into one zip file. So and soon I'll be able to download that to my desktop along with the installer file. And both of these I'll just install in another location, either offline uh, locally where I can work on the site and, and upload it again to the same area if I choose to do so, or I can just move it to another location, another domain then. So I can click installer here to download installer and then the archive to download the archive. All packages, I can click that right here or click it up here and I'll see the package, uh, all packages area. So this is then being downloaded to my downloads folder, or as it says in Norwegian, Ned lasting it. So I'm going to drag that out and just put it right there. 
and in a few moments, uh, in a, a minute, the package will be downloaded as well. And right now it says installer one because I already had installer PHP in the downloads folder. So I'm going to remove this and be sure to call it installer.php. I need an FTP program to upload it to another domain. And I have downloaded files, FileZilla, which works for the Mac, PC, and Linux system. So I'm going to put this to fragments of a walk.com domain username and then the password. I can do a quick connect to connect to this domain. So basically I am downloading, I backed up this whole easy web design tutorials, backed it up, I'm downloading it to my desktop. I can just keep it in a folder if I want to as a backup, but I want to upload it to another domain. Then. So I am going to start here with my remote server, which is in public HTML here. Go to the correct domain, which is fragments of a walk. And there is a folder there already, it doesn't matter. If I had a, a WordPress site here, I can just overwrite it with the new package and installer file. I would just put it right in here. So I'm going to start by going to my desktop to find the installer file right here and drag and drop it in. And then I need this package file which is in my downloads and I have right here. So I can drag and drop that right in here as well. So right now I am uploading the 250 megabytes or as it says here 236 megabytes zip folder to another domain. And I'll just leave this in the background. I'll drag it to the side it will be uploaded in a few minutes then. I need a database for my new WordPress site. So I have logged into my Bluehost and the cPanel. Scrolling down to the section on databases. Which is MySQL databases here. I need to make a new database database for this WordPress installation. So I'm going to call this frag for fragments to walk. And I'm going to note the name of it, which is uh, blue win one underscore frag, because this is my prefix for my account. So we have it in here, it says blue win one underscore frag. There's size zero, there's nothing in a deba database and there's no user right here attached to it. So I need to attach a user or create a new user. I'm just gonna create a new and call it user. Create a password. And I'm gonna be sure to write this down so I, I remember this. Okay, and create user. And here's the password for it. I created the ba database, I've created a user, and now I need to attach the user, which is user, to the database frag and edit. And be sure to click all privileges and then make changes and go back. Okay, so we have frag and we have attached the user uh, user to the database frag. Okay, so now I can check in with FileZilla how that is doing. I can see it's almost finished here. So I can start by just going to the website.
fragments of walk and then forward slash installer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new install. If I was going to do it on top of another install or a WordPress installation, I would just click remove all tables. And I would also have to remove the vpconfig file. But since I'm creating a new uh, installation, I'll just do create new. Uh, hopefully, or most of the times, localhost will work. If not, then just try your domain name instead. So user, I had then the prefix blue in one user and password was 443322 and a name, database name is then blue win one frag so we have the user password and the name of the database so I'll test connection see if I got it correctly and I did so if you get an error here then just check and change this to your domain name see if that works on bottom we need to click I have read all warning and notices and then run deployment okay And that just takes a few moments. So it's basically just deploying the site. As you see, this we have the installer here and the package. I can do a refresh here, and suddenly we'll see a lot of WordPress files directly in here. Okay, so it shows all settings. It's from Easy Web Design Tutorials then. And the path to that on uh, my Bluehost site, and then the new, and then the path, and I title. I can choose to change this if I want to. New admin account. I can put in new information here, or I'll just leave it blank, and I'll keep the existing uh, admin user. And if you have some problems with plugins or whatever not working, you can just turn things off here, but I'm not going to get more into that. So run update. And this will just take a few moments. Okay, it's finished. So let's take a look here as well what happened with this zip file. Okay, we're going to back into fragments of a walk. And there it is that this should refresh refresh okay so we have the website here then and also the package we can move that in a moment but this is then the WordPress site uh, unpacked from the zip file right here so I can read the install report I can resave permalinks which will go to the back end test the entire site we'll see the front on the end of the site file cleanup and we'll do that in a moment I can go straight to reserve permalinks so I have the custom structure I'm just going to save it and up on the top here it says uh, reserve duplicate install file files still exist in the root directory and these might uh, cause a possible security issue. So I'm going to delete them. So all of them are deleted. Uh, this I'm not sure what is, but I'm skipping this for now. This looks fine. Installer is removed. And these three files are then removed. So I'm going to do a quick look of the site, see what it looks like. So right now I've taken the Easy Web Design Easy Web Design tutorials from the site I have originally cloned it, downloaded it, uploaded it to fragments of a walk. So this site should be totally identical to the one at Easy Web Design tutorials.